Honorable members, on the request of the minority leader, the speaker has allowed him to move a motion of adjournment to discuss a matter he says is of national importance, and that is the deteriorating state of the economy and the developing financial crisis. I call him to move his motion. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Honorable Speaker, uh, pursuant to standing order number 33-1, I rise to seek leave for adjournment of the House in order to discuss a definite matter of urgent national importance regarding the deteriorating state of the economy and the developing financial crisis facing the country. Honorable Speaker, the deteriorating state of the economy and failure by the government to meet its financial obligations, including settling of salaries of public officers, is worrying and indicative of growing economic strain. According to official records of National Treasury, the economy is facing a myriad of challenges, including the dwindling national revenue collection, as evidenced by the current revenue shortfall of Kenya shillings 900 billion. Additionally, there are serious indications of waning trust in government securities, with official data from the government indicating that as of February this year, the government managed to borrow only Kenya shillings 333 billion out of the intended Kenya shillings 1.04 trillion. Further, the results of the Central Bank of Kenya 10 year Treasury bond, dated 10 April this year, indicate that the government only managed to get bids worth Kenya shillings 3.57 billion from a bid offer of Kenya shillings 20 billion representing a paltry 17.85%. This has put pressure on government funding and is likely to lead to a shutdown of public services. Honorable Speaker, it is also notable that the government has stopped. Please note, it is also notable that the government has stopped spending on priority development projects and has also delayed in releasing funds to county governments, thereby stalling operations at the county level and, of course, frustrating devolution. Notably, only Kenya shillings 162.5 billion has been released to a few of the ministries state departments and agencies for development this financial year, while county governments are yet to receive the equitable share of their revenue for January to April this year. Honorable Speaker, it is against this background that I seek leave of the House to discuss this matter of national concern with a view to exploring possible and lasting solutions to the problem. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Of uh, the requisite support. Oh, yes, of course, yes.